CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Left the GoPro in the car, so it's iPhone time. Really pretty trail to start out with. Off we go. Just continuing on up the trail here. Um, this is right by my summer home. So more or less my backyard. And um, well, a few years ago, a fire got started about 20 miles south of here. Worst in Arizona history because the winds were blowing at about 70 miles an hour. Impossible impossible to fight even natural fire breaks that were i don't know valleys half mile wide couldn't stop it winds would bring the embers up and over it was game over this whole mountain got burned off but the aspen are coming back with a vengeance i don't know they call them nursery Nursery uh, trees provide shade. I guess they give the saplings a way to grow. I'm not sure. But it'll never be like it was in my lifetime. But I enjoy what we have here. Hopefully we'll have some other hikes. That will show a little bit more Ponderosa. And interesting enough, just as I started out, I did get an APRS ping back. Okay, right at 10,000 feet, first day at sea, uh, from sea level, all the way up to 10,000. Sure, I'm breathing hard, but a hell I do that at 2,000. This is the trail. A little bit rocky, definitely uphill. We're gonna be close to 11,000 today, at least on this peak. May do another one. Let's get going. And another view, probably climbed another 100 feet. About 500 feet climb to go, maybe less, maybe about four. And so far, 1.4 miles. Pretty day. Okay, we're at 10,516. See what I mean about that fire? There's nothing left up here except Aspen. They're coming back. Okay, as you can see from the picture on my blog here, or on the blog, you have to go check it out. 10,869 feet. Beautiful. Beautiful view from up here. Partly cloudy, which has given me some shade at times. And as you can see, there's a container here. It looks probably a repeater for the Forest Service. Great location for it. Fully self-contained. Looks like they probably dropped it in with a helo. And, oh, what's this? Yep, there it is. That's good to look out. I can hear some coyotes in the distance barking. Okay, we're hooked to the top of that fence with a rope. Coming across. I don't know if we're high enough, but we're about 15 feet up there. And then it goes over to the tree over there, which is probably 20 feet up. I threw it up there with a rock. Okay, I logged about 17 contacts. Um, not nearly as good as I thought I'd do. The band conditions were horrible. I know we're at the bottom of the sunspot cycle, but geez. Um, maybe it's my operator skills. I had 100 watts up on top of a mountain. I tried two different antennas. I tried my Pactenna, 
and basically strung it with some uh, some ropes between two trees to get it up off the ground. And I still had a SWR of about 2.0, two, 2 to 1 coming back at me. So, but I got, you know, really good reports into Tennessee and Maryland and some other, other locations. So I just wasn't hearing that great. I switched over to the Empaz, which is a more of a vertical antenna. That thing was perfectly tuned in. Um, I kept the counterpoise off the ground, tied it to that uh, a small rope out to that uh, utility box. And that worked pretty good, um, SWR-wise. I didn't make hardly any contacts, so I gave up. There was a storm off to my east, so off to the east of me, and I was picking up a lot of lightning cracks off that, so made it a lot more difficult to pick people up. But uh, really not that, <laughs> not that stoked with today's performance at 100 watts. Certainly can nail my contacts. I don't know what would have happened if I had only been running five like last time. It was a struggle last time. I got them, but uh, I didn't expect to get hailed on this trip. Dropped a little bit of hail, wasn't bad. Starting to drop down back into the Ponderosa that survived in Aspen. No more rain. Very peaceful.